Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the uh, DIY series from the Crafts Outlet. Today we're doing uh, masks for parties, something like this. It's a very easy and fast project, so I hope you enjoy it. So we're going to start by making, printing out a template. Uh, this is just a very simple shape of a mask right off the computer. You could resize this any size you want. This is uh, good for about, you know, it's like um, about 8 uh, inches. It's uh, good for an adult or a child. So I'll put, I'll upload the template to the website afterwards so you guys could uh, download it without uh, looking for it. <coughs> And you're gonna just cut it out and uh, we're gonna trace it onto a foam and uh, we're gonna start our project. So we're gonna start by cutting out the template and um, for the template just stay outside the line and try not to do a lot of uh, nicks. Just go nice and smooth all around all the way over. I'm trying to cut while the cameras right next to me, so it's a little bit difficult. Keep your scissor all, all the way open, so it will be easy not to get those uh, mix in the paper, and you get a smooth edge at the end. So you're always turning the paper and not moving the scissor. Like that, it will be a smooth edge. to maneuver if you're just moving your paper instead of the scissor you have a lot more control there you go so always a good tip here to keep a garbage bag right next to you for all that so you don't have to have a big cleanup afterwards and keep things so, that goes straight in the garbage right next to me so I don't have to be getting up all the time so once I have my template I'm gonna trace it onto the uh, foam board um, first mask we're making it's gonna be a fuchsia so uh, we're gonna get something in the red family to trace it on I have a bunch of foams here oh let's see here I don't have a fuchsia okay so I don't have a real fuchsia but I have a nice red so I'm gonna trace it onto the red so all I have to do is take my template that I just cut don't throw and waste a lot of the foam you can, so you could really use it for other projects. So what you're going to do is trace it on just with a pencil and uh, you're going to cut it afterwards. So I'm not going to uh, take this down or anything. I'm just going to get like two little pieces of uh, sticky tack and just uh, stick them on either side so I don't have a lot of movement while I'm tracing this. So. And I don't want to waste a lot of the foam, so I'm going like really close to the edge. So I'll trace this and I'll show you the next step in a second. So here we go, we have a very rough uh, trace of the template. And it's, uh, as you can see, it's very easy for me to be on the foam. And uh, when you have it like this on the foam, if you press uh, a little bit hard on the pencil, it's a good idea. It will help you cut it faster, so um, that's a good thing. For the eyes, don't worry about them. I'll show you how to cut them through. You're going to need an exact enough. But to cut around, we're going to start by cutting it around with the scissors. And then we'll come back and we're going to uh, poke the eyes. But when you're doing the eyes, it's a good idea to... Do the shape with a pencil because the foam is very forgiving. So when you go with the knife afterwards, you know, it's going to be very easy to punch it out. So you see how I'm doing that? Do it a couple of times. It almost comes out by itself, even with a pencil. That's a neat thing about foam. It's very easy to work with. And the more I do, the cleaner cut I'm going to get after. So I'm going to trace the other side also. Um, always turn the paper for if you're left-handed or right-handed. You don't want to just find your best angle and work with it. You don't have to, you know, work with your opposite angle because everybody has a better 
spot to work with. You see how easy? Just with the pen going over it and I'm getting a beautiful, beautiful clean shape. After when I come in with my X-Acto knife, I'm going to be able to punch it very easily. See? Really, really neat. Alright, so I'm going to cut around and I'm uh, going to show you the next step in a second. So here again I'm cutting the foam and I, as I showed you before, I just want to go very smooth with the uh, moving the foam, not the, not the actual scissor. But before I do that, just to make things simpler, you're just going to cut it as a rectangle around the template. Like this it will be easier to uh, move around with the foam and get rid of that big piece and you can save it for another project. So as we go here, so you don't get that nix of the scissor. Keep the scissor open at all times and you just turn your foam around. Keep on turning it very smoothly. And you definitely, if you didn't trace very nicely, you could definitely have a chance here to correct any, uh, any shape you want. So very easy, very smooth, very relaxing activity. Gonna make a bunch of them today, so this is one out of many. You go here. If you keep never close your scissor all the way down, keep it open and move the paper. Very, very important. So like that, everything stays nice and smooth as you can see. And do the last turn here. And that's it. Now see I have a nick, so it's very easy to go back over. And look at that. Very cool, very neat. Okay, now I'm gonna take out the eyes. So if you're working on a table, if you're, you're not working on a craft table, you definitely need a support so you don't want to cut through your table. I'm um, just looking at my support that I had here. Yeah. So you could go use an old mouse pad. You know, they used to make them like nice and foamy. Or you could use those uh, memory uh, pads to cut it out. But if you don't want to spend money for that, just like an old mouse pad will be great. So I'm going to get my X-Acto knife. And uh, I'm going to start cutting through. Um, I'll be right back with that. So here we go. So. See, I'm always through. You could just, you know, you, you could do it like that too. But I find pulling it is very difficult. It doesn't give you as clean as a, of an edge as you would like. Okay. So there we go. Nice. I'm just gonna score it here again. There you go. Nice and ready. So now we're going to move on to the second step where we're going to put nice mascara on this. And we're going to glitter everywhere. So, here we go. So the next step is to start glittering this. So we're gonna, we don't need our um, mat anymore. So this is the messy part. So you just have to work very carefully. What I'm going to start with is, uh, I'm going to keep it turned so you guys can see. I'm going to draw like, um, <coughs> and, uh, an outline like a um, mascara kind of um, what do you call it like a mascara for the eyes so I'm just gonna go all around the edges like an eyeliner go around the edges there you go this is gonna be black for me so what I'm using I diluted a little bit of the glue because I don't want it to take too long and I'm gonna go on the inside also like this I don't see the edges are gonna be covered with glue and like that when I put my glitter on the glitter is gonna be uh, covering all these uh, messy edges so, so look mascara here and I'm gonna do the other side It's a little bit too diluted, so I'm gonna just wait for it to dry before I apply my glitter because I don't want to go thin in the inside, just exactly like putting mascara on and go outside. You can work upside down, doesn't matter, as long as you go on the interior. Don't forget the corner of the eye.
get it nice and smooth. Because once we start applying the glitter, if you don't have a sharp edge, it's going to show. That's why I'm using like a, a thin uh, brush so I could go into my eyes very, very smoothly. And you don't want to have too much glue because it will take way too long to dry and we have to do other surfaces. So if I mess it up, just thicken it a little bit. Nice and smooth, freehand is very easy. All right, so I'm gonna put this to the side to dry while I do my um, interior. Let me do another one. So just make sure it's very, just as another. If you don't uh, see where you're, you're putting your glue, you could definitely add a drop of paint, water-based paint to the glue. Like this, you can see exactly where you're applying it. We're making very smoky eye uh, mask here, so I went very generously around the eyes. But you can make it as thin as uh, you want. Like for example, in our uh, the mask that we already done, we went a little bit thinner, as you can see here. But uh, this one is a little bit thicker, so we're gonna see how it uh, looks at the end. All right, I'll be back with the next step when this dries up a little bit more. So um, now it's uh, ready to take the glitter. It's a little, a little bit uh, wet, but uh, I'm just gonna be very, very careful when I put my glitter. I put a white paper that is dry. It's not the same paper that I had before with the glue on it because I don't want it to get messier than it already is. And just uh, made a crease in it to catch the rest of my glitter. So I'm gonna go generously everywhere because remember we put the... Um, the glitter inside uh, on the inside of the eye so we don't see those uh, ed edges so I'm gonna go everywhere don't worry about we're gonna catch all this glitter and use it for the second mask afterwards so we're not wasting anything here so just keep it here give it a nice shake and look at that just like magic wow this looks a lot better than the other one Really like it. This very cat eye. So the second time around, you get <laughs> you gotta do a couple of them so you get them right. Okay, so I'm gonna. I see a little bit here in the corner. I didn't. Doesn't have enough application, so what I'm gonna do just put a dab of glue here. You could always fix things up. This is arts and crafts. It's not. So you always, for each color, you have two papers. So for example, now I want to fix that little dot that I didn't uh, get. I'm just putting the second paper in and using whatever black glitter dropped off. I'm just going to tap it into here. Give it another application. Never thought I would enjoy playing with glitter so much, but it's more fun than it looks. <laughs> It's messy, yes, you gotta get the vacuum afterwards, but it's so much fun. Oh my god, this looks really cool. Okay, so I'm gonna put this a little bit to dry, and then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do a gradient uh, effect in the uh, background. So I'm gonna get rid of my black glitter and come back. Okay, <coughs> so here we go. Let's see here. So these two papers, I'm going to not use them for the black. Now I'm going to get two new papers because I think my uh, my order here from my uh, child was for uh, fuchsia and silver. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a dry brush because I don't want to touch it too much. And uh, you see, I have, you know, Tap it as much as you can to get rid of those excess, but don't get too obsessive about it. So I'm just going to clean it out a little bit. And I'm going to put another application of glue halfway of the mask. I'm going to put the dark uh, fuchsia on the bottom and the silver on top. So it will be nicely um, uh, gradient. So I'm going to start with the uh, fuchsia on the bottom. So I'm going to take a bigger brush now because that brush the other because it's not so detailed like this one and I'm gonna generously brush it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna have my 
get, get my, uh, you see, all the way to the edges. Don't forget the bottom edges. You, you want to do that because you have it to clean. Don't worry at the end. Don't get too close to the black glitter that we already did. I'll show you how to get closer afterwards because we don't want to ruin it. It's looking too good to get ruined. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try to divide it like this. I'm having all the fuchsia go like that to follow the shape a little bit. And I'm not going to get too close yet to where my um, eye is. And don't go close with the wet brush, you'll ruin it. Don't worry about the access that we're seeing on the side. It doesn't show at the end. It blends in really nicely. So it doesn't have to be super symmetrical because you know it's handmade and you want them to be very interesting. So the less symmetrical it is, you know, the more artsy I find. I love it. It will be more interesting. So as you can see, I got very close, but I kept space. So not all the way to the edge. Don't worry, it'll blend in. Okay, so here we go. Get close. This is so relaxing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is here for my tip, I'm gonna give it a nice round. There you go. Now I'm gonna try my fuchsia. Let's see. I'm just gonna let it dry a little bit. Give it a little bit. Let's see the fuchsia now. You can use any color you want. At the Crafts Outlet we have about 45 colors of glitter. So, you know, you could use... Oh, I think I have a fuchsia here. Is that the same fuchsia? Yeah, is this good? Alright, cool. So I have a little bit of fuchsia here. And I'm gonna... From a different project that I saved. I'm gonna go all over. Don't touch it with your fingers. It will get ruined. Okay. So we're just gonna take it and shake it. Okay. So as you can see, I don't have full coverage. So what I'm gonna do is do it again from the other side. I'm gonna get another paper, catch all my uh, glitter in it. Turn your knees and repeat. So, in case I missed any spots, I'm gonna give it a second coverage without using more glitter. Let's see how this looks now. Just touch it on the part that you didn't do yet. There you go. So, starting to look really nice. Okay, so you can see I have a little bit of edges that I didn't get to. What I'm going to do is get, go in with my smaller brush and get to the edges, to all the edges if you can, all around and get this little edge here don't have it too wet because if it's too wet too messy too wet, too messy, no good so I'm gonna go here a little bit a little bit here alright <coughs> and I'm just gonna use it again because I have on my other paper There we go. And tap it out. Really cool. Alright, so I'm gonna uh, now I have two of those two papers were just for the this color. So I could uh, save my uh, glitter for the second project. It's not that messy, see? Glitter could be not messy. <laughs> so yeah so if you see like something like this like for example it 
got into the black you want to get a dry brush that is a little bit and you could just scrape it off but very gently because you don't want to ruin those beautiful shapes you already worked on and anyways you want it to blend in a little bit but not so much so now we're at uh, my uh, third color so I'm gonna put the silver on top so and uh, you just follow the empty spots don't worry if you go a little bit uh, start with the biggest part and uh, you know if you feel like this is moving about and don't touch the glitter because it's gonna get too and it's still kind of wet just get a sticky a sticky tack stick it and move the mask onto it like this it doesn't move on move for you so you don't have to be running after it all right and now the paper is moving <laughs> you can do the same thing for the paper all right so all right so we're gonna brush it all the way around and we're gonna apply silver on that finish you could go a little bit to the edge of the fuchsia that we had this is looking better than I thought okay very carefully on the edge of the black you're barely putting any pressure very very relaxing all right cool so <clears throat> now it's all uh, wet I just want to make sure I went into here deep enough and I'm gonna get my silver so let me see if I have any silver here yeah just a little bit okay so here's my silver of a new pack you know with one pack you could make so many masks because you're gonna keep on hold on before I start doing this I see this white paper that I'm using has uh, the other color and I want to save my silver because I don't want to I want to do more masks later so I'm just gonna move it to a clean paper there we go and I'm gonna go in with my silver now Well, it's a little bit too wet, but I'm going to put a lot of silver. I think it's time to like this video. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so I got, you got to put a lot of silver, don't worry. You're going to catch the excess anyways, so... I'm not going very high with my glitter because I don't want the whole room to be filled with glitter. Okay. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to shake it in. Hey. Can I just shake it? this is I'm gonna give it to my sister-in-law because it's so her colors she loves those colors so as you can see we missed a couple of spots so we're gonna come back with a little brush and we're gonna cover it again it's a little bit too wet don't add too much water to your glue I guess next time okay I'm gonna go cover my edges again and I'm gonna get more paper. I'm gonna put the glue all over again. There we go. This looks cool. Now, 
it's a little bit um, the colors went onto each other but once we tap it it's just gonna get like a little gradient effect without too much uh, gradient hmm, it's starting to look good so I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna come back and uh, I'm gonna add the rhinestones on it see you in a bit so as you can see I made a bunch of different colors of these uh, masks uh, since uh, we have a big party tonight and everybody wants a mask uh, I'm gonna start embellishing them with some feathers and some rhinestones and I'm gonna show you uh, a little uh, method to do it in one second. So basically the traditional color, you can use any colors you want, but we're gonna uh, do something matching. So just to make the feather process easier, I'm gonna move this onto the side. So they're still a little bit wet, so I'm being very careful with them. So, um, to, you remember those little uh, cuts that we had? So we're going to use this to, um, to align our feathers. So for that, so here we go. I, it was a little bit difficult to choose which colors to pick, but I think for the fuchsia mask that we have right here, we're going to do those three, four colors. So I made my arrangement and before I start playing with my glue gun, um, decided how to put them. So now I'm going to just get my glue gun. And on my little um, uh, foam that I had left from before, I'm going to put a lot of glue. So just in case I don't like it, it's not on the actual mask, so I could just mess with it afterwards also. I'm going to put all these feathers right there. There you go. It needs a little bit more glue. You could use any colors you want, whatever you like. Just it's the like if you put them and you don't like them because you're using that little foam, you could always take it off without ruining your mask that you've been working on. So there you go. Fix up the way you want. So you can see I have my little foam here in the back. So all I have to do is just uh, stick it to the to the back of the mask like so, and this is gonna look see. Let's stick it right here. It's gonna look really, really cute. So I'm gonna turn the mask over, and I could just put a lot, a lot of glue here, and I could maneuver it a little bit when I turn it around again. Wow, this looks so cool. Oh, what is that? Huh. Look at that. So this is where you go. This is really, really cute. Okay, so it's nice and secure. And the last uh, step, I'm just going to clean this a little bit up and I'm going to put some rhinestones on these. So I'm just going to get all my masks to the stage and I'll come back and I'll show how to put the rhinestones at the end. So I'm going to accentuate the eyes with some rhinestones. So I'm going to put a little bit of black rhinestone, one on the corner of the eye. It's really cute. I'm gonna look for another black one. Here is another one, and I just put like a little tick, uh, sticky tack on the bottom of a brush, so that help me pick up my little rhinestones. Especially now, because my hands are full with glitter, it's really hard to pick out the rhinestones. So this pick is really helpful. So um, yeah, and now I'm gonna put. Uh, I'm gonna try to get like uh, three uh, lashes uh, style uh, on the side. <coughs> I have a little pink here. Uh, I love those feather uh, rhinestones because they're nice and long and they look like eyelashes. So we're gonna use these to the end. So I need a pink. Right, and a lavender, and a fuchsia, if we could find a fuchsia. Oh, there's a nice fuchsia. And I need another fuchsia for the other side. Yeah, and let me see if I could find the clear. There's no clear, right? Eh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we could do a pink lavender and a fuchsia. Okay, so I'm gonna put my fuchsia on the. So I remember what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make the colors opposite. So I'm gonna put my fuchsia on my silver so it will show, and my uh, light colors on my uh, 
dark colors like this I could show it that is a little contrast and I could see it better see like that just like that mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put two more mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use the lavender here don't go too deep with the hot glue gun because it melts the foam and the glitter so just be careful with that one more oh and I have a nice pink so I'm gonna put it right here they don't have to be super aligned so remember every mask is unique so we're gonna do this similar on the uh, other side these are really cute I like how they turned out to be Okay, so I'm gonna get my lavender for the other side and my fuchsia, my silver. You could use fuchsia or hot pink, it doesn't matter. Whatever you find. And my little pink right here. The last thing just to finish them off, I'm gonna put like very small rhinestones on top. <coughs> you could use any colors, it doesn't have to be completely matching. I have a clear one here I could use on the dark side. If you're thinking this is messy, yes it is, but it's so much fun. Trust me, it's relaxing, something to do with the kids. And if you get the vacuum very close to you at the end, you'll be able to clean everything out with not a lot of excitement. Oh, maybe we should put a purple instead of this one. I don't want to ruin it. So just be careful. If you put something you don't like it, it takes two seconds and you could put something else you do like. So just have to work fast because if it dries then forget about it it's over so I need maybe um yeah the purple looks great so I need one more color I'm gonna try to put a yellow <coughs> and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side that looks so cool don't worry about at the end we're gonna blow it out with a blow dryer and all the mess is gonna come out it's gonna look really cute so don't worry if it looks a little bit messy at this stage we're gonna clean everything out so another yellow thank you and another purple and then just the clear one would be great oh wow that looks so cute so easy to do, so much fun. Nothing like arts and crafts. Very relaxing and very rewarding. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So we're gonna put a, for this one, oh, what is that? We don't want that. Okay, so this is pretty much it. I hope you can see it. Okay, so here you go. And then I'm gonna show you how to uh, add the stick to it. And it looks really, really cute. So uh, for the stick, what I'm going to do, I, I just got like uh, regular uh, sticks uh, from the dollar store. You could definitely use, use skewers like the one from the kitchen. Uh, if you want, if you can't find these, it's very inexpensive. You could put two together and wrap them. So all I'm going to do is get decorative kit tape um, and just wrap the stick. It's very simple and easy. Um, let's see if, if I could get this on camera done. It's my hands are filled with glitter, so it's kind of hard to get it stuck, but doesn't matter. So I just grab one edge of it and roll it down. It's so easy, like just like that. And you keep on rolling it down, and you could cover your stick. Definitely, I'm using silver, but you could use any color you want. So just pull it so it stays tight. And you're gonna end up with a really cute stick and at the end of it 
you're gonna go all the way down go a little bit like uh, about a quarter of an inch a little bit down and keep on wrapping and see it closes like a candy and then you're gonna cut it <coughs> that's it and you could just uh, get the glue gun tip and just glue put some glue in there you could definitely finish it off with a little small rhinestone if you like want to be like too fancy about it let's cut this out and just put some more glue you could put like a little bit of glue if it's, you see it's opening it up but just that's about it Oh, you could go crazy and keep on embellishing this, but I think we should stop at some point. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then you turn this over, and you want your uh, stick to be on the same side of the feathers. Um, align it. You see, you have a space to align it right here. So just on the top of, on the back of the, uh, <coughs> on the back of the. feathers here we go just spread it apart don't worry about it i'm gonna cover this all up afterwards so turn it over and you just from the front align it okay this is you don't need that just hold it two seconds the glue is not that hot so i don't burn my hand so i think i need a little bit more glue right here There you go. Voila. Really, really, really cute mask. So this is your uh, mask. Really cute. So for the last step, as you can see in the back, it's pretty messy. So we don't want to keep it messy like that. So what I did is cut another piece of uh, white foam just to cover it up. So um, in the back you have to make it like uh, there's no need to be very super neat so you could just uh, um, make the eyes a little bit bigger than the hole so they don't show in the front. So what I'm going to do is fold it up on itself and give it a nice cut and give it another cut from here so it doesn't show in from my front because this is remember it's in the back and I'm just going to cover all the mess and I do the same thing for the other eye. hard to get behind the camera anyways so and then you just glue it like that make sure none of the white none, nothing of the white is coming into the uh, the front and that's it and you have a nice clean mask and then you just could clean it out uh, yeah I just want to make sure if you turn it over you don't want to see any of the white so it looks pretty good to me so what I'm gonna do is get my glue gun and go all over it but don't get the glue gun be careful because remember the hot glue gun does ruin the foam so you don't want to get too much glue and it's super hot so watch your hands <clears throat> go all the way to the edges and that's it it's just gonna give it a nice finish so it doesn't look amateuristic And that's pretty much it. I think I did it the other way. That's it. So, there you go.